to show you how, well, this is actually a brief overview of how to do minifigure replacement. The skill is actually really, really useful for objects other than Legos. And like, if you want to replace any other object, obviously it's a little bit more, doesn't really make much of a benefit with Legos, but with other stuff, it's actually really cool. So for this scene, I used a big sun lamp to mimic the lamp and I took, used the tripod to take an HDR or just a panorama of the surroundings so I could get pretty accurate lighting. This is the, this is, I just tracked this one point and I used that track so I could parent it to the, parent it to the mesh. And so basically why I chose a lag of minifigure is because part, this, this minifigure especially uses a really good tracking marker. And as you can see, it's parented to the it's parented to the tracker, so it'll move with the tracker. And it, also another thing I did is I use the scaling. I I try to scale it as best as possible. And this is the masking. I used it to mask out the thumb. I parent I parented the mask to a track to the to a tracker on my nail. And um, basically the mask masks over the um, minifigure. So basically masking will just um. I can use that to show my thumb basically so that my thumb appears to be over the object. Um, this is the node setup. This is just a simple setup I use to combine it. I actually found it to be pretty good. Um, I used a lens distortion node to give the effect called chromatic aberration. It's really small and I used the soften uh, node to make it a little less sharp. And overall that made it seem just a little bit more realistic and this is the before and after. Alright, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys like and subscribe this and share this with your friends if you liked it. And I guess I'll see you on the next one.